I'm trying to say this without stepping on any toes, but I feel like I'm gonna step on some toes. Um, how should I phrase this? <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and in today's video we're going to be talking about something that could be quite controversial to some people but I think it's very important so I'm going to talk about it in the um, Before you watch this video I suggest that you go ahead and watch a video that I created um, about a few weeks ago called um, How to Be a Great Wife. So go ahead and check out that video. I'll link it right here um, somewhere in the cards. I think it's over this side. I don't remember. But um, I'll link it there and you can go ahead and check out that video before you watch this one. I also want you guys to go ahead and take out your Bibles and turn to Proverbs 31. Um, you can read it before the video or after the video. It's totally up to you. And I also want you to read um, Titus chapter 2. Go ahead and read those things either before or after the video because it some of the information there or a lot of the information there pertains to what I'm about to talk about. Now this video is for the woman who is planning to get ma married or if you're already married so this video is for you and if you want to follow what God has intended for your life as a wife um, yeah this this one is for you I remember a couple years back when there was having this big debate at my church and they were talking about gender roles like you know what a man is what's a man supposed to do and what a woman is supposed to well they didn't go so much into what a woman should do but they were talking um, a lot on what a man's um, what a man is supposed to do and I remember feeling so confused I'm like okay yes I understand what the man is supposed to do but what what should the woman be doing what should the wife be doing like what is my job and what is my purpose and that sent me to do a little bit of studying um, to trying to figure out exactly what God has created me to do I don't think that a lot of women in our society understands the value that they have. When you become a wife, you have a great responsibility. You have a great responsibility. You literally have the power in your hand to shape the future of your husband and your children and even society. Because if you think about it, uh, women are normally ones that are home with their children, the ones that are taking care of their children, and the ones that invest more time in their children. Yes, their dad, the father is there, and yes, your husband is there, and they, you know, family members do help to foster something into your children, but more than likely, it's the woman that builds the character and the one that's there, you know, teaching and instructing the child. So they have a greater impact on the child. So if you look at it, if you are a Christian woman and you are teaching your, thing, your child things of God, then you're having a great influence on society. And I want women to understand how valuable they are. Because in our society now, the devil has, you know, caused a kind of a wreck in certain things because women who um, tries to spend more time with their children and teach their children are, you know, um, are people who are women that, that believe that spending a lot of time in the home and raising up children and being a homemaker. In society, that can be viewed as something that is inferior, to what a man does. So I just want you guys to understand that the job that you take up as a, a mom and a wife and a homemaker is super important and it's not something that is less than. It's very important and because you take up this job doesn't mean that you're less than your husband. A woman, she's the weaver of the home and a home woven by a Christian woman brings out and expresses the beauty of God. Just, just picture this in your head. Imagine a woman, a Proverbs 31 woman, and I know a lot of people are going to say, well, I'm not a Proverbs 31 woman, but you're striving to be. You want to be that, be that woman, right? So imagine that woman who is taking counsel from God, who is living up to God's standard. Just picture that woman in your head. And she has children, and she's implementing everything that the Word of God says into these children, molding their character and building them up. Imagine what kind of society we will have because a Christian woman does that for her child amazing not only that think about the husband that you're influencing like being a Christian woman how impactful you can be on your husband so you're just building a great society right there so your job is super important I'm gonna read something to you that I thought was like absolutely beautiful it says like the Holy Spirit which is the ever-present one guiding influencing directing teaching and enforcing laws laid down in the word so is the wife like the Holy Spirit in the home. I thought that was super powerful. It's liking, likening, I don't know if that's the word, but it's comparing a woman of God to what the Holy Spirit does. And I think the Holy Spirit does a great job for us. The Holy Spirit brings back to remembrance what the Word of God says and, you know, basically helps us on this Christian journey. So in the household, the wife is just that to her children and maybe to her husband sometimes. 
you know, she's enforcing the word of God to her children and building up strong Christian children for this world that hate Jesus Christ. I, I don't think that's any easy job. I don't think that's any minuscule job. It's, it's a great job because in this world, you can see how broken it is and it needs people who love the Lord. We need to set up an army for Jesus Christ and raise up a standard against the devil. And in our society, as I mentioned before, a lot of people can view this task as something that is not important or inferior or less than, or a lot of people can view this job or, you know, view women who are investing in their children um, and, you know, staying home with them sometimes as something that is not important and it's not, it's not a great thing. I know I'm not a person who stays home with my child yet. I'm working on it. But, um, for the woman who is staying home with her child and investing and instilling biblical principle that is an amazing job that is something that god has called us to do as women even if you're working you should not let your job or anything take precedence over your family and teaching your children because satan knows that if you're a godly woman raising up godly children you can raise up such a powerful standard against him that he tries to destroy what god is trying to intend for a woman because i do believe based on what i've seen in scripture that God is intended for the woman to find fulfillment in being a homemaker and taking care of her children. Um, if the woman, as I said before, if the woman is doing all of these great stuff for her children, she's doing a great job and God is working in that home and God, and Satan doesn't want that. He wants to destroy that. We're living in a society now where women are being told that to be equal to a man, they have to do everything that a man does. They have to be the breadwinner. They have to be the provider. And that's simply not true. Having a different task than my husband, which is to take care of my family, doesn't make me less than my husband. We're still equal to each other, we just have different jobs. I'm not saying that if you're a woman out there working and providing for your family that that's a bad thing because I'm working and I help to provide for my family. That's not a bad thing. But as I said before, don't let it take precedence over your family. I know that we're in a falling world and I know that you know certain things are not working out the way God had intended it for it to be, so you know certain things you know are kind of out of place. But nonetheless, make your family a priority. Make them first. Yes, that finance is important. We need money. I need money. But um, we need to make sure that we invest a lot of time in making sure that we're teaching our children biblical principles. And I know that, as I said, the devil is trying to tear that down because he knows the effect it will have on our society. He knows the war we will rage on his kingdom if we're doing what God intended for us to do. Another thing that I want to mention is something that I think that every young woman should know that will help their marriage to be great, that will help their household to be peaceful and help fulfill what God has intended for us to do. And is that, and that is being a homemaker and taking care of our families. Um, apart from the spiritual aspect, taking care of the home, making sure that you can cook a decent meal, a healthy, decent meal for your family. I think that is something that is rather important. I remember when I was younger and I would love coming home to my grandmother's cooking because I used to live with my grandmother when I was younger. Um, to me, nobody could cook like my grandmother. Shoot, that, that, shoot. She was the best cook out there. I ain't seen nobody who could compare to her. Um, and I used to love it. And I have this thing in my head like, I want my daughter to think that I'm the best cook ever. I want her to think that mommy's the best chef and she makes the best food in comparison to everybody else. Maybe that's just me. Um, another thing that I want to mention is being more organized in your, in your household, taking care of your home, there is absolutely nothing wrong with being the person to love taking care of your home. And that doesn't mean that your husband doesn't help you out, but I believe that God has placed this directly on the woman because I think we do a better job at it too because that's what God has designed. That doesn't make me less than my husband. I'm still equal to him because taking care of our home is just as important, I believe, as making some money too. My mother is a clean freak. Like She loves to keep the house clean. And I used to love coming home to my mom's house because it was so clean, so organized, and I just, it was it was a wonderful, it was an amazing place to be when it's nice and clean. Even in my life now, I realize that when my house is taken care of, when my house is nice and clean and organized and neat, everything just runs so much smoother. I don't know if it's just me. Everything runs so much smoother. I know that my husband can attest to this, but whenever the house is a hot mess, I'm a hot mess. I'm naggy, I'm irritable, and I nag him. <laughs> Babe, do I nag you in the house with a hot mess? Yeah. Yeah, he said yeah. <laughs> so, messy home equals to a chaotic household. So if you want your house to be a little heaven on earth and be peaceful and joyful for everybody to come home to, then I suggest that you learn how to organize your household, take care of your house, 
and make sure you also know how to cook good wholesome food not just like any food like healthy food that's going to be beneficial for your children and for your husband um i saw this quote also when i was um reading online and it says that a good wife <laughs> kristen's in the background and she's so cute it says that a good wife is heaven's last gift to a man now as I said, people make it seem as if taking care of your home, taking care of your children is something that is inferior and you're not intelligent and you're not, you know, you're just not going on with anything if you're one of that person. And that's absolutely not true. Whether you're a working mom or you are a stay-at-home mom, if you're instilling godly principles inside of your children, you're making sure that you spend adequate time with, it, with them and you're making their lives and their spirituality and their walk with God and you teaching them above anything else, then you are of much value, not only to your family, but also to society because you're raising up godly children and who doesn't want some godly children around? So I thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. Go ahead and subscribe if you like this video. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Come on. Um, like this video and go ahead and let me know what your thoughts are. Share it in the comment section. Share your thoughts with me. Even if you disagree with me, go ahead and put it there, but be nice about it. Um, so remember, as I told you, go ahead, check out my, the video that I posted about how to be a great wife. And I also want you to go and read Proverbs 31 and read Titus 2 because it really expounds more on what it means to be a good wife, a good homemaker, and what God has intended for you to do. So go ahead, watch it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. <clears throat> Say hello, everybody.